going to be a public match, so if you're joining in and you want to come play, let me know. Now, I've already spent a bunch of time setting up this farm, so there isn't going to be a whole lot of setting up. We're going to mainly be finishing up any field work that needs to be done today, maybe going to go do a few contracts, but I will show you a couple cool things about the new one that I found cool anyways. One thing I will say about playing on PS4, I have a PS4 at the moment, is it takes forever to load in, and it almost seems laggy sometimes because of how good the graphics are in this game. I wish I had a PlayStation 5 to really take advantage of the upgrades that they did to the game. However, that is not in the cards right now, being as <laughs> times are tough with COVID in Canada here, so... If this is your first time joining the stream, be sure to drop a sub, <laughs> hit the subscribe button, and uh, hopefully in the future I'll be posting some more content. Not sure how often I'll be posting, how often I'll be streaming. I'll probably be streaming to create content, so you'll get to see the process of it all. There also will be no cuts, so you'll get to see all the embarrassments, all the messed up words, all the failed clutches, all the good clutches everything far and in between. Now the one thing about this game, I apparently have a kitchen that I can get into here, but I can't get out of. I can get in my house, but I can't get out. So what do we do? We gotta go. The reason that this is, is because I do not own this place. So every time you join in, you gotta go to the farm. And now I can leave and switch to my equipment. Okay, so, uh, what to show you first? What's the easiest way to show you? Well, let's just show you guys this first. This here is my, I, I like to call it my like cow setup, because I don't have no cows at the moment. Um, I'm thinking, because I own the land behind here, I'm thinking to try, and like this is all grass, so I was gonna cut this all for hay and silage, but I'm hoping to kind of place it back here somewhere, but I don't know how big it is. You know what? Let's go look at that right now. Let's go look at how big of a space I need for my cows, because I could probably can I level it off and make a little road past here. Yeah. If I cut down these trees here, I'm just looking the best way that I could route it. Yeah, if I cut these trees off here, I could route it into the back, but I don't think that's going to be enough room because I want to have the one that has the auto feeding with their feeding robot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, that's kind of tight. I mean, I could do that. And then I'd have to figure out, I don't know. Because I also have to get the slurry out of the back there. Might not work out for here. I might have to go put it somewhere else. But eventually, we're going to plan to put a cow barn somewhere. This, I leveled off everything so that it's all the same from the edge. I tried to paint this to make it even. But when you go to smooth everything, it smooths it out in weird ways. So I may fix this. You can see how it drops off steep here because I can't smooth this no more. But yeah, and then I made this curl out so it kind of looks nice. I can cut this. And then we got a big silo here for silage. We got a bigger silo over here. We got currently got our sunflower, I believe it was. Yeah, sunflower oil. Oh yeah, there it says running right there. Running in the background, I harvested when I bought, I believe it was 31 or th no, it was 32 here. 32 had sunflowers on it so I just dumped all that into my oil plant here 
I got my spinnery because I am planning on doing sheep. I have no idea what it turns into. I have no experience with that. So don't don't ask me in the comments. I'm pretty new to this yet. And then here is my biogas, so I can sell my leftover bales. We got two haylofts over here, which I set up. So I would have liked to set them up a little bit differently, but I can run through here, and I can also back straight in, which is pretty easy to just back straight in here. Minimal bump there. Smooth that out. And yeah, this is basically like the cow yard. I got. That little shack in the back there is a mechanic shed. And then this is now the main yard. I just hit that to switch over to it really quickly. So open the door. Close the door if it lets me. There we go. This is the main yard. So I set up a big, big, big granary for the main, main and sole reason is I always run out. Because I like to hold on to my grain until I need it. I also plan on milling and maximizing profit on everything, so it takes a while to mill from what I've seen. So I did this so that I have the most amount of time to basically store it and then after everything's done milling I can refill the mill and keep the mill full. I did keep this barn and I like it because it fits my fertilizer spreader which is a bit dirty right now and my auto bale trailer please giants allow us to have mods again be very nice then running out of room for my trailers I put up a little shed here behind the animals I know this is kind of all over the place just from what I see I'm kind of moving over to new more in-depth one if you guys have more questions I'll make a, another video or stream again and you know whatever needs to be done but yeah this is <laughs> this was for all my seed um, I don't have a forklift right now, and it's kind of a pain. There's a person stuck in my trailer. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to uh, load these with the tractor and drive the tractor down all the time. So I'm probably just gonna get the helper to refill it and then use this up once. Like I do headlands, and then the helper does rest usually. For that reason, uh, probably gonna work on getting a forklift in the future, to which I can just load onto the trailer and then fill the trailer up with seed and fertilizer is what I like to do. Uh, when I'm doing fertilizer spreading, I just drive the tractor down and fill it up with fertilizer there. Again, it'd be nice if I had a forklift, uh, but being I'm the only person, usually use a helper. Uh, if I have a second person in like my lobby with me, that would be awesome because then I can have someone load the trailer and we never have to stop the equipment because I have it set to three days and I do find that some days I am working pretty late actually, just because there's a lot to do with one person. But here we have <laughs> my makeshift header trailer. So in the game, this is a 40 foot header, I do believe, or 40 or 50, I forget. Yeah, it's a 50, it's a 50 right there. Um, HD Draper F, F stands for flex. So this is a flex header, Draper belt style instead of an auger. It has the canola, well, we call them the canola, I use them, I call them canola teeth. Pickup teeth instead of bat reel. Bat reel would just be flaps, essentially. And this is, yeah, this is the header that we have for the X9, which surprisingly came on sale half price in the store, so did my tractor when I got it. But this is the header that we use when we are harvesting. Um, couldn't find a header trailer for it, so I ended up having to buy a little boy. And the nice thing about farming Sim 22 now is you can strap everything down. So all these tension belts, they actually hold this thing on there really good. You can see it's a little crooked because I've hit it once or twice moving it, but then we have our forage trailer for animals, which still have yet to be fed. We're going to hopefully harvest that. And our cultivator, which only time I plan on using this cultivator is if there's two people in here because I have in the shed here this 8RX which can pull the cultivator however cannot pull my massive speed tiller and I use a speed tiller for field prep usually and we use the 9R for that uh, we also have the 9R on our corn planter at the moment it's a little overkill uh, way overpowered but this I just did repairs on and 
this tract oh not that tractor this tractor is currently sitting in the shop because it needs a lot of repairs I, it's like 30,000 oh it was 30,000 it's 18 now I forgot that I did some before I did a bunch of other work with it but yeah it needs repairs right now so that's why it's sitting in the shop here oh we also got our plow here that's probably why that tractor needs repairs because I've been running the plow with that and the plow requires quite a bit of work. I think it maxes it out actually. Yeah, it maxes it out because it's, well, no, I think I got a 420. I forget how big that tractor is. Yeah, it's 450, sorry. So it's not maxing it out by any means. Um, but just so you see what I mean by it's aggressively under overpowered. This is 340 horse. These are my two smaller tractors here, 175 and 300. Um, I bought, the 6250 as my animal tractor and then I just bought this 7810 because I wanted a smaller tractor that I could push snow with and it seemed like I wanted an older tractor that you would typically use in the winter that's why I don't have like a small tractor per se I just have medium tractors it also makes it nice for moving stuff it has a little bit more weight to it but yeah, I need 350 horsepower for that planter, and I have 670 on it right now. But when you go and look at my disc arrows here, the speed tiller, uh, it needs 550. So I'm not overpowering it too much with this tractor. I this Again, this tractor came on sale in the store for 60% off, and, I, and it cost me like $40,000 in repairs. So it still wasn't that bad of a deal, but... Yeah, as you can see, it only had eight hours on it when I got it, so we've been putting quite a few hours on everything. Then we have our truck here, just the old Mac. Our trailer, this is what I've been using to just move around green because it dumps out the back and it's easier to get into those uh, cell points where super bees aren't necessary for... I do have a set of super bees that I use for hauling at harvest or will be using a haul at harvest. They're over there. Originally bought that 8RX as a grain cart tractor, actually. Because I got this big old Elmer here. 2,000 bushel cart. Do you believe it is? And it is against the wall, but yeah. Then there, got our 9RX here. Pretty cool. I really like and can appreciate how we can see inside the cabs. Because this is just a combine that's worth millions of dollars I would never get to see it in real life but in here I can see it look at everything then we got our land roller here which is nice that they added this after the game got our planter here um, I hear that seed hawks coming out with a mod well not not seed hawk himself but there's gonna be a seed hawk and as much as I don't like seed hawk I kind of want to have a tank and drill separate instead of this lawn thing because I, I don't know they don't have much American stuff in here like the the speed tail yes the even this isn't very American in like this it is it like we do use plows but it isn't a very American design I like how they have on my John Deere over here for example if I go into here and customize I can show you that's the motor so they have EU here this is how they come in this in America or Europe sorry then they have the US version and then they have the European version 3 meter but the American version has the smaller tracks and I want the bigger tracks so that's what I mean I wish that they had more modification that you can do to it so that I can do a US version because like the difference in American to the US is basically just those flake cards or I don't know what they're called I'm not from Europe so but these cards on the back there yeah, we don't have that that's basically the only difference that I've noticed and like the placement of a few other things but that's all that I've really noticed so yeah this is the this is mainly all the equipment that we got our big old corn head here I forget how yeah 16 16 row 16 F is what it says yeah so I'm guessing it's 16 row I haven't got to use it yet. I just bought it, brought it back to the yard, parked it, and we'll be using it this year. Here we have our pallet trailer, which is stuck back in here because that's in front of it. Haven't had a chance to move it yet, but that is what we'll be using mainly to haul 
all of our wool and our eggs, and once everything fills up, that's what we'll be using. But yeah, that's basically the yard here. So I'll go into creation mode here, construction, sorry, and show you. That little glide, glean, glide, <laughs> gleam is from salt. I don't know why it leaves that. Like I salted because we had snow and then it gets white on everything. And typically salt on gravel will dissipate over time on farm sim it doesn't for some reason but we got our fuel tank there pressure washer there we got our chicken coop there this barn is still here with the silo all of our sheep are here we got our water filling stations here which with these barns i've learned like what are they called yeah the sheep barns you don't actually need water they're auto watering you just need to put your hay in the front here because i bought a water trailer and i had water trailers parked in all these bought sheep went to go water them when and uh, there's no water point there's just dump points for your hay so that's different this is for horses i haven't decided what i want to do for horses yet i can also can just tell that it's a little bit crooked and that's kind of bothering me but whatever uh but yeah i mean these are mainly aesthetic now because i don't ever see getting pens like if you i'll show you what i mean by pens we're going to animals here um, let's go to sheep. Sheep would be the easiest to show. So sheep are large. We just need to fill it with hay. Hay. This one needs water. If you have a pasture, you need to haul water to it. If you don't have a pasture and you have a barn, you don't need to haul water to it. So, yes, you're only fitting 15, but you also have to now haul water, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So, got our house here, and this is basically the farmyard here that we got set up. We got a mill on the yard site. Uh, I was debating putting like two smaller bins with augers to try to do something a little bit more realistic, but we settled for this guy here. So now we have a mill here, and all of our grain is all on one yard. And this took up three fields. So there was a field here, there was a field here, and then across the road, across this road here, this was all field at one point. Very small fields, so I figured might as well use the space up. This is a little tight to get through here. I wish I would have played the game a little bit before I realized what I was doing, but it is what it is, I guess, right? So, anywho, that is the farmyard at the moment. I'm going to be putting a windmill here to try to generate some income. And then here's an overhead view of basically the cow yard, I'm, I'm calling it, the silos, whatever you want to say. And then when we go into the map here, after it's done saving, we'll take a peek at what I own for land at the moment. So like I said, these are three fields, as you can see here. Farm Sim, I want to congratulate you on finally being able to modify the map. I don't know what the technical term for is for that. I saw a video posted about it. Didn't notice it till that. You can plow fields together. So like... 47, 48, 49, they're all plowed together. They show up on the map as plowed together. On the old farm sim, it would look like this, even if they were plowed together. I also, you can tell that this feels a little bit shorter. My AI turner couldn't turn around even with a round of headland, so I just planted basically a row of grass in there. Try to help with that. But I believe we got oats planted here. We got wheat planted here, here, and there. We also got some wheat coming in here, barley here. This little block here is going to be corn, I'm thinking. This is going to be canola, barley, wheat, whatever I plant there. That's what this is going to be here. Um, I'm planning on planting some... Uh, what's the word? Oilseed radish, there we go. Some oilseed radish onto 50 and onto 53 this year so that I can plant corn into it next year and it's just basically like a cover crop slash transition crop that's why i have that but that's what we own that's what we're working with at the moment as of right now we can't do nothing i've already planted the oats um we're, we're waiting until april to plant our corn so here's a couple cool things about farm sim that i've noticed one 
on console we have helpers now so let me think here what do I need well we could just click on this guy set destination pick location say I wanted to send him to go pick stuff up over at the store this is a store here by the way I could just go like this pick the location and he'll drive there I'm not going to because I don't need him there but could do that um, interior wise when you drive let me go get in I think this tractor would be up so see how he puts his foot on the clutch and the brake and then he slowly lets it off and then he puts it back on when you stop and it holds it there we never had that before the pedals didn't move so that's awesome you can also watch I'm just gonna make sure I'm not hitting nothing he also shifts when you're driving in the cab through all the gears and changes what when you go to stop puts it in neutral sometimes but yeah uh, I haven't looked yeah you can also change your working with and I'm not sure if I can actually change I've heard that you can change a rate on spreaders. I don't know if you can or not. I haven't been able to figure it out. But the dials all work on this. Like, it's just the small things that make me happy with FarmSim because this is all stuff that we've been asking for for years. And they finally did it. But yeah, this is basically just my winter slash chore tractor. It will be my second tractor when it comes to uh, the cows. Check that off. So this will be the main one. I plan on getting yet another small tractor for around the yard. Like an actual small tractor. Just to do small things and put a forklift on it and a bucket and such. Probably going to use it for wrapping bales. Or we might just use these ones. I don't know. We'll see. But that's that. So that is one cool thing. Uh, another cool thing that I found is AI workers are a lot better now. Like, they aren't so dumb in the sense of I can actually leave them to do a job and they'll do it. Um, I want to show you... I don't know the fastest way to get there. Well, we'll just try to run over there real quick. Yeah, it might take us a minute. But... On the north side of this field here, I was plowing it, and there were some trees in the way, so I got a mulcher. I didn't show you that, it's at the other yard. But basically, it's just a big grinder, and it grinds the trees up and gets rid of them. When you do that, it, yeah, here's our wheat. We're running through wheat right now. It gets rid of all the trees, and you can like destroy a full tree and a tree stump, so, and you can do that anywhere you want even if it's not your land you won't be able to farm it obviously if it's not your land but you can do it wherever you want here's our oats they've been rolled you can see there's no rocks I took field stone off I don't know I didn't really enjoy using it uh, cost a bunch of money to get a helper to do it and if you do it it takes forever so just decided not to why does that say 60? Is that like doubly fertilized? Did I do something special? That's weird. Anywho. Don't know why some of this is fertilized over 50. I haven't spread anything here yet, so. But now that we're here, that's what I mean. So I did this with the plow. I came in here with the plow and I made these corners. Don't mind this. I'm planning on connecting these fields, all these fields in the future. Make one big field out of it. But it worked up to here because I destroyed trees. The one thing with that mulcher is it does leave like a fresh felt field here. And like these guys, they stay here forever if you miss them. And in some spots, I'm just going to go hide this by another tree. In some spots, it glitches. Yeah, it glitches pretty bad. So I've just pushed those glitches into the trees where you kind of don't see them. 
counter in his map, but it's whatever. Um, this tree right here I'll probably remove in the future. It's a little close to the field and then just leave those ones. But for right now, we'll just go into here, this mode here. I've been meaning to do this, so it's a good way to show you guys. Go into painting, and then we select grass. Then we can come in here. And then this will basically plant f not field grass, because there's two types of grasses that you can have in farm sim now. One is metal grass, as most people call it. That's what I'm doing right now, is I'm just basically painting metal grass in to remove all that field work that I did. Here real quick, do that. That and do. I don't want to get into the field here. There we go. So that's basically metal grass there, and then you can plant actual grass in your fields. So I need to figure out which field I'm going to do real grass in. And now there's grass here. Can't fertilize it. Can't do nothing. It just basically turns this area into like nothing ever happened. Got our interstate right beside the highway here. Or interstate right beside, or our farm is right beside the <laughs> interstate and the highway. Uh, interstate's above us, highway's here. Probably gonna do these, that was a high jump. Probably gonna do these fields across the road here with hay once I get into it. But I think that's a pretty good tour of the farm. It's a relatively long video. Oh, here's some field stones. I got turned off so you don't see them in my field no more, but this guy's field, you can see them because it's an AI field. But these fields I'll probably have for hay. Probably connect these two fields in the future. Use them strictly for hay. They're not really around anything if you look on the map. I mean, there's a little one there, a little one there, a little one there. We might actually use these two guys over here because they're smaller. But... This corner is pretty cool too. I don't know. I haven't seen the whole map. I kind of want to get over to this corner because it looks pretty sweet from what I've seen in YouTube videos. Um, I know it sounds like a nerd saying that, but I have watched a few videos on it. I have no idea what cell point this is. Oh, we're on workers, that's why. Farmer's market, that's where the farmer's market is. So that this actually is in pretty good condition for starters. I'd recommend doing this if you're just starting off and you want to start from scratch. I wanted to create a pretty, I was pretty aggressive. I went middle of the map and I don't have much land down here. This is a lot of land though, if it like integrates the map. This is what I would like to buy in the future. This little block over here to turn into one massive field would be very nice. Instead of all of this, whatever they're growing here, I don't even know what they're growing. They got a little bit of everything going on down here. I'm pretty sure this is corn. That's wheat. That's barley. This is sugar beets. This is oats. Like, they got everything down here. So, I don't know. We'll we'll look into it in the future. But for now, this is what we got to work with. I'm trying to expand and develop everything else. Uh, we'll probably go south first and then go up north. Uh, this is going to be my corn here. And I'll probably do corn on these two as well. So this entire section, this would be considered a section in farming. And then quarters would be split up right down the middle, side to side here. So this would be your north east corner, quarter, sorry, not corner, uh, southeast quarter, southwest quarter, north northwest corner, quarter. So... If you've ever wondered, that's what they typically split into blocks. This is just a good area because it's actually in the shape of a quarter. Again, your developers didn't really make this. This is supposed to be the American one, but it's not really created in an American style. And I don't have mods that have different maps, so that's why we got what we got. But, yeah, this is probably going to be the corn quarter, corn and soybeans. Uh, and then this is going to be grain... I haven't really decided everything else. I might do this corn and soybeans, all this over here, and then do this 
all something else, or I may do this corn soybeans, and then basically whatever's south of this river here, I'll do corn soybeans, everything that's north of it, I'll do grain. I haven't decided yet. That would mean that all this would be corn, which is a lot of corn to handle, so we'll see. But I know it was a long video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, God bless you, and I hope you have a good one, so take care. Can I end the stream now? <laughs>